Hey guys, it's KC Jilly. We, uh, we're expecting some pretty cold weather. Starting tomorrow, it starts dropping and it could get down to frost temperatures then by tomorrow night. The next day, it's gonna drop again and it's gonna possibly within the next three or four days get down to 28. So I've made up my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest what little bit of stuff I've got here and chop down some things and I've got to put up some little frost tents over what I want to try to keep. Dig up some peppers for my mother-in-law and myself and I just got a little bit of stuff to do and I thought I'd take you along with me. So I'll show you what I'm going to start with. So starting with this tomato bush, I'm going to pluck them all off. Let's see how many I come up with. First things first, this old basil's coming out again. Okay guys, I pulled off decent sized stuff and everything that's not ready. It's, uh, we'll do green tomatoes and give away and I'll compost all that stuff. Show y'all what I got. There we go. So, if you're wondering what's up with the wheelbarrow, that was what was holding the phone while I was doing the work. <laughs> but I got this from this garden and now I gotta get rid of this stuff. Got to clean all the strings out of my tree. Clean that stuff up and now I have a lot more room for my brassicas, which I will plant after this little freeze frost thing we got coming on. Now I'm over here in the pepper bed. I've got two more tomato plants. I'm just going to cut them down, but I'm going to dig up some of these peppers, but I'm going to start on these bell peppers and I want you to see what I pull off some of it's ready, some of it's not quite ready, and there's a few left, and I think I'm actually gonna leave them standing and see what happens on the other side of this frost. 
but I'm gonna dig up these others. So check it out. All right, so I've got these guys. Use my chihuahua to scale. I've got those, probably three are close enough to ready all the way. The other ones are kind of small, but you know what, I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna leave those plants. This guy I'm gonna dig up and, and uh, give to my mother-in-law. That banana pepper, I am gonna trim it down and put it in a pot and I'm gonna try to overwinter it out there at the secret garden. This is a hot banana and my wife doesn't like it because it's too hot for her. I don't, I barely could even tell there was any heat on it, but since she doesn't like it, I'm cutting and it's done. And that dude, let me see here. Yeah, let's go. You can see it's got some stuff on. I don't even know what it is. So I'm gonna cut them off. And I think I'm gonna try to overwinter that one too. Oh, Who are I got you talking my grandbabies. To? They're out here helping me. All right, so that tomato bush and it's hard to see. That Who tomato are you bush. Talking to? They're done. Who are you talking to? Uh, I'm talking to YouTube. Can y'all say hi, YouTube? Hi. Yeah, they're my helpers. So we're gonna get this done and we'll check y'all out in a little while. Okay. All right, the banana pepper. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut it to overwinter it. All right, let's see what I can do here. Cut him about right there. All right, and let's see. This little limb can come all the way off. Yeah, we don't need that guy. So just looking right now. It's a nice straight up and down guy, but we're gonna save that little guy all right so i'll get all this stuff off of here but it's just pretty much gonna be a fork now i gotta dig that dude up and put it in a pot and we'll go have some banana peppers hopefully get a head start on next year so this garden is pretty well cleaned up and done those little green onions my wife stuck them in there as a joke a long 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 time ago and they're there so if I want to eat some green onions, I'll come out here and snip a little off, and they just apparently grow forever. We'll see after this freeze. A couple of uh, bell pepper plants, I'm gonna see how they do through the freeze. And the corn in the back, I do not, I don't know. I've never even grown corn in my life until this year. And the first round got chewed up by the squirrels out there at the secret garden. These have a few ears on them, and I'm gonna let them go through the freeze and whatever happens at the end, I'll try to plant those seeds if they're plantable. If not, I'll start fresh next year. So I got all of this guy is ready to rest. It's gonna get its rest. It deserves it. Okay, I may trim that up just a little bit more but and get my little slingshot Y out of it, but. I thought these were deer sticks. There they are. My helpers pack those little tubs in here. Where? Thank you helpers Where? for packing my tubs. Thank you. Since the help's turning into hurt, y'all go play in the yard while Papa finishes this stuff. Bye. All right, so I stuck these little hooters here, the little road cover set up in the ground. They're not perfect. May, may be a big deal, may not, I don't care. If I lose all of these, then I lose them. But you know what I thought? I'm gonna try this little section. I still haven't taken down the shade cloth. And it, it needs more sun in here, would do better. But the brassicas can take it if the bugs will quit eating them. And that's fixing to happen. Now, what my plan is though, is I'm going to take this guy, right, 10 by 33. And even though this is definitely not professional, I don't care. I'm just gonna sloppily lay it over and put something there that'll keep it from blowing off. And I've got a little extra to keep any craziness that comes uh, up above and garden it. But now I'm gonna cover all this section with frost cloth using just that for now. All right, guys, I'll show you all my high quality job here. All right, so it's nothing to write home about, but we'll see if it helps. All right, guys, and this is the final section, but the truth is, financially, I can't afford to do it all right now. So we're gonna see how cold hardy this stuff really is. As you can see, I'm working on it, but uh, it takes time and money. 
and I really jumped out in this this year and I, I need to pay off this year before I go any further. So we'll see how this works. Hopefully I'll get some good winter stuff and move on from there. I'll check you guys out later.